Question number one. When parking on a hill with a curb, if your car is facing uphill, you should set your parking brake and turn front wheels towards the curb. Set your parking brake. Set your parking brake and turn front wheels away from the curb. Never park facing uphill. The correct answer is Set your parking brake and turn front wheels away from the curb. Question number two. At a roundabout, the right of way belongs to the largest vehicle. Any vehicle already in the roundabout. The vehicle preparing to enter the roundabout. The vehicle that has been in the roundabout the longest. The correct answer is Any vehicle already in the roundabout. Question number three. To pass a slow moving vehicle in a hilly area, you should pass any time as long as it is not on a curve. Pass on the crest of the hill. Wait to pass until after you've crested the hill. Pass while going up the hill. The correct answer is Wait to pass until after you've crested the hill. Question number four. It is illegal to park within less than nine meters of a stop sign or intersection signage. Blocking a fire hydrant, including within three meters of the road next to a fire hydrant. In a crosswalk or within three meters of a crosswalk. All of the above. The correct answer is all of the above. Question number 5. The merge lane onto an expressway should be used to do a last check for any text messages before entering the expressway, to find an opening in the expressway traffic and to match speed with the flow of traffic, to bring your car up to the speed limit, no matter what traffic looks like, to move your car forward as far as possible before attempting to speed up and merge into traffic. The correct answer is to find an opening in the expressway traffic and to match speed with the flow of traffic. Question number six. A solid white line means that you cannot change lanes. That you are approaching an intersection. That you are approaching a curve. That you cannot pass a vehicle in front of you. The correct answer is that you cannot change lanes. Question number seven. Which of the following is not a legal maneuver? Turning right onto a one-way street from a two-way street at a red light. Turning left onto a one-way street from a two-way street at a red light. Turning right onto a two-way street from a two-way street at a red light. Turning left onto a one-way street from a one-way street at a red light. The correct answer is Turning left onto a one-way street from a two-way street at a red light. Question number 8. If a traffic light has a little green left arrow and a little solid red light that means you can turn left or move straight through the intersection. Turn left or right into the intersection. Only turn left. Only turn right. The correct answer is Only turn left. Question number 9. While driving, it's recommended to have your hands placed in the 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock positions. 4 o'clock and 7 o'clock positions. 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock positions. 7 o'clock and 2 o'clock positions.
The correct answer is 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock positions. Question number 10. If you are in an intersection when the traffic light turns amber you should continue through. Stop the vehicle where it is. Take a right turn instead to avoid crossing traffic. Stop and reverse, then wait for the green light. The correct answer is Continue through. Question number 11. All vehicles are required to have a horn that can be heard for a minimum of 60 meters, 25 meters, 40 meters, 100 meters. The correct answer is 60 meters. Question number 12. This sign is warning that it's hunting season, that there are left turns up ahead, that children are at play, that deer cross the road in this area and to be alert. The correct answer is that deer cross the road in this area and to be alert. Question number 13. This sign is alerting you that you are approaching a cul-de-sac and that the road ends. There is a hairpin curve coming up in the road. There is a hospital nearby. U-turns are permitted. The correct answer is you are approaching a cul-de-sac and that the road ends. Question number 14. According to the Tiered Administrative License Suspension Program, if it is your second occurrence of driving with a BAC between 05% and 08% within a 10-year period, you face a 72-hour driver's license suspension, a 24-hour driver's license suspension, a 15-day driver's license suspension, a 10-day driver's license suspension. The correct answer is a 15-day driver's license suspension. Question number 15. This sign is showing that the lane is reserved for carpools. The road is merging ahead. There are multiple lanes of traffic. Passing is now permitted. The correct answer is Passing is now permitted. Question number 16. When you approach a stop sign, you must Yield the right of way to any waiting pedestrians. Come to a complete stop before continuing. Stop your vehicle before the designated stop line. All of the above. The correct answer is all of the above. Question number 17. Which of the following is not a way to let traffic know you are preparing to parallel park? Pointing with your hand over your head. Using the stop hand signal. Flashing your brake lights three times. Using your blinker. The correct answer is pointing with your hand over your head. Question number 18. If you need to make a right turn, but a transit bus has stopped just short of the intersection on the right-hand side, you should proceed by pulling around the bus and then taking the corner from the rightmost lane. Taking the turn from the second right lane, but only if you can confirm the bus is still loading or unloading passengers. Waiting until the bus finishes its stop and pulls away from the intersection.
taking the right turn from the second lane. The correct answer is waiting until the bus finishes its stop and pulls away from the intersection. Question number 19. If you see a wild animal in your path while driving, you should swerve to avoid collision. Inch your car slowly forward to herd it off the road. Stop, dim your lights and honk once loudly to scare it away. Flash your lights at it to scare it away. The correct answer is Stop, dim your lights and honk once loudly to scare it away. Question number 20 In case of a collision, you should Aim to hit something in a glancing blow, rather than head on. Aim for more malleable items to absorb an impact such as a bush or a snowbank. Drive into a ditch, if possible. All of the above. The correct answer is all of the above. Question number 21. If an emergency vehicle is flashing lights and sounding an alarm while you're driving on a one-way street you should pull over to the right. Pull over to the nearest curb whether on the left or right. Continue driving. Pull over to the left. The correct answer is Pull over to the nearest curb whether on the left or right. Question number 22 Entering a roundabout, you should check for vehicles coming from the right the other side of the roundabout, behind the left. The correct answer is the left. Question number 23. Bicyclists should position themselves on the right side of the roadway, but may change position if they are attempting to avoid hazards like potholes. They need to make a left turn. They are children and unaware of road rules. All of the above. The correct answer is all of the above. Question number 24. Driving directly next to a big truck is considered a no zone because Many big trucks have large blind spots on the sides of their truck. Most big trucks must take extra wide turns, often taking up more than one lane of traffic. Trucks can generate wind turbulence that can affect your vehicle. All of the above. The correct answer is all of the above. Question number 25. This street sign is letting you know. There is a hospital to the right. The street is one way and traffic is only going to the right. That right turns are permitted. That you must turn right in this lane. The correct answer is. The street is one way and traffic is only going to the right. Question number 26. This construction sign is showing you that the road ends. You are entering a construction zone. Trucks may be entering the road from the right. There is a pavement drop off. The correct answer is trucks may be entering the road from the right. Question number 27. When a lane is closed ahead, you should zipper merge by. Immediately merge out of the lane preparing to end. Continuing to drive until the lane is about to end and then merge one car at a time into the continuing lane. 
continuing to drive and then merge over into the continuing lane once there is an opening. Continuing to drive until the lane ends and then merge over two cars at a time. The correct answer is Continuing to drive until the lane is about to end and then merge one car at a time into the continuing lane. Question number 28. If a driver's license is suspended and a driver still chooses to operate a vehicle, consequences can include a lifetime license suspension, five years of prison, added license premiums once their license is valid again, all of the above. The correct answer is all of the above. Question number 29. The minimum age for a class 1, 2, 3, or 4 license is 17, 21, 18, 16. The correct answer is 18. Question number 30. The orange hand on a crosswalk light means pedestrians should finish crossing the intersection, turn back and wait for the walk signal if they have not completed crossing the street, run across the street, watch for cars. The correct answer is Finish crossing the intersection. Thanks for watching.